Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video on this channel. Um, so this is a bit of a different video to what I'm doing at the moment, which is full flight videos. This is just going to this is just a video on basically what I use when I fly in P3D. So um, the main the main types of programs I use, obviously, when I fly and how I program everything and what what I use and basically what I've just said many times. Um, so yeah that's basically that's all this video is is just saying just showing you guys what i've what i use and fly in so you know what programs i use to keep it all running to track my flights to upload them uh to screenshot them and everything because so i've been asked this question quite a lot um on my instagram account um for p 3 d pictures because um link in the description by the way because the people just wondering how like i track my flight and what i do and how it all goes about i guess so yeah, without further ado, let's go on this video. So, the first thing I do is I open up Project Fly. Now, this is a software made by Meta Meta Simulations, or is it Meta Sims? Or Matt Davis, if you don't know who he is, he's a, one of the most, probably, I would say the most popular flight simmer streamer out there at the moment. Um, he basically made this whole Project Fly app, which you can track your flights, um, what flights you've done gives you all your information about it, uh, your total flight hours, uh, how many flights you've done, your landing rates, your most common flown aircraft, your last flight, for example, um, your fleets and everything. But yeah, this page is like a tracker. This is what I call it, a tracker. So um, what we can do is I'm just gonna give you a quick tutorial of how what what I do on a daily flight basis, I guess. So what I do is first I go to Stratus, then bookings, and here we go. I can you can tell that I've got a booking here from Gatwick to Edinburgh in the Airbus A319 um, in the Gulf Echo Zulu Delta Juliet uh, reg registration. We're going to be EZ5 to X-ray Hotel in U2811, and it gives me all my briefing and everything here. So if I wanted to pre-file this to VATSIM, I'll just press pre-file, then the internet will pop up, and then here we go. You have your pre-file for a uh, bat sim there but I never pre a flight I usually just go straight into it so we can get rid of that you can export the routes so if I wanted to export this to the um, let's find one I've actually got to the okay, V pilot for example I just press export and then it tells you so then I have a route for V pilot um, the briefing here we go it takes me to sim brief and what I can do is it, this gives me all my information for the flight basically so it has my fuel here which is 12,762 kilograms uh, kilograms I think I think it's in kilograms I believe don't uh, quote me on that but I think it's in kilograms um, it also gives well if I press fly now I'm not going to do that because I don't have P3D open but um, if I press fly now it then tracks the flight and that's basically your bookings but if I want to create a new booking I go to here and if I uh, do a destin uh, departure Gatwick and say if I'm arriving okay let's go Almeria LAM here we have your Easy, um, EasyJet and Thomas Cook flights so they actually only do one flight a day so I'm not sure why it's coming up with three but okay whatever um so we'll choose this one which is at 535 and um it gives you all your information here and your route well just you know straight there and uh, there and to from and there sorry um your departure time your arrival time your schedule so it's going to be a scheduled flight not a charter flight IFR not VFR select aircraft so if i wanted to do um okay let's just stop in easy jet uh say if i wanted to go in the GEZBI I can click that and say I want to go into VATSIM I can click VATSIM, um, VATSIM or you have uh, many different you know online networks but I do VATSIM and then you just click book and dispatch if you're going to fly it then or book but if I do book and dispatch you can then either paste the route into here import a dot p plan file um, sim briefs and um, this is new the advance so if I click advance it gives me my weight unit so it'll do kilograms passengers just say that not 520 which is 144 cargo weight will say 8.0 uh, cruise at cruise altitude of okay, we'll say five, five, three, six, zero. Um, reserve fuel I'm not too sure about what that would be so and then manuals are a fuel weight okay well that, that's just basically the advanced version but if you want to do sim brief uh, the auto version all you have to do there we go just click that 
give you your air rack, which I still need to update. I've already bought it, just need to update it. And then it will build it for you. Da 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 da. da. Hopefully, there we go. And then there we go. So you can set this flight active, and then you can export this one and pre-file it. And yeah, that's that's that is basically how you book a flight. But also, we're not doing this flight, so we can delete that. Nice. So the next bit is the fleet. Now on here, this is basically every single aircraft that you fly. So at the moment, I've got it from away from brace, um, away from base, which is this Tui or Thompson, um, Boeing 7800. If I do it, if I do it by airline, um, you can tell that uh, these is all your aircrafts that you have set to fly with. So if I do the Air Nostrum for example, if I remember from my previous well one of my previous videos, um I don't know flight um in the CRJ from Ibiza to Gibraltar, which is here. As you can see, Ibiza to Gibraltar is there, two hours and one minute, quite long that flight. Uh, if I press a view flight, this was my flight um plan coming out. There we go. That was it what we was doing, recorded exactly what happened, and then it even takes you to your stand, exactly what you've done. Sorry about that. Um, and then my land rate was a minus 129. Uh, my fuel, my block time, my passengers, my departure time, and then my arrival time. Got this here, which is very, very useful actually. Let's see that. And also, um, so that's basically just your fleet bit. Um, next bit is the logbook. So this is all the flights I've done with Project Fly. So if I press number two, Number three, number four. As you see, I've just I've done many flights, and my first flight was from Stansted to Glasgow. Is that like, yeah, Glasgow? And yeah, that's basically that's it basically. And then if we go to contracts, this is the bit that is brand new. Um, the contracts is basically anyone who has their plane away from their base, which is I've got this plane away from base right now. Um, you can contract the flight and give it to someone to fly for you. So uh, okay. That's pretty weird. Boeing 77900 EasyJet. I'm pretty sure that's not an actual plane um, fleet for EasyJet. Say if you just hang on, let's find one. Um, okay, say if I wanted to do an EasyJet A320, I'd go to View, um, Awaiting Pilot, and you can place your bid for this flight. So it gives you all the information, no briefing, no payload is being, you know, set. So the airline is EasyJet arriving from um, departure is Belfast arriving at Newcastle and your registration, your aircraft type, your call sign, your flight number, your contractor and the pilot which no one's there yet. No one's bidding on this flight. So if I go back um, there's loads of other ones on there and if I go to my contracts as you can see I've got this one which is for my B32 Gatwick to do. Um, yep this one and if I press view, there we go. It says the pilot is me, Easy Jack. Cause you know I love my Easy Jets. And um gives you your briefing and your payload there. And your departure and your call signs, everything's all good. And also I have set these um these are my contracts that was done. So I had a plane that went from Gatwick to Faro and um I didn't want to fly the return, so um I got another pilot to fly the return for me. So Benny two zero zero two Benny two zero zero two four four um flew this for me and if I press view flight these is his details. So this is what he done. Um all the way from Faro to Gatwick. He done this and then if you go to well this is what I've this is what I said. Um his landing rate was minus one hundred, which is not bad. I'm happy with that. And yeah, that's, that's basically just the contracts, but I've also got a guy who still needs to do his, and I said it ages ago, he still hasn't done it, which is that Thompson here needs to be done. Okay, so that's all the contracts. The next bit is the radar. <sighs> here we go. And then it's set on Project Fly. So this is the radar. Um, this is everyone who's on Project Fly or VATSIM, IVO, Pilot Edge, but if it's yellow, that's one you've just set. I can set VATSIM as well, and loads more planes will pop up when it loads, but no. Nope. Okay, there you go. And they're off, right. So if you click uh, this guy, he's going from Gibraltar to Bristol, you can see that he's got an image, which is his fleet picture there, and his en route. His um, ET's estimated time is 56 minutes. Um, aircraft A320, his username, altitude, ground speed, um, his proper flight path, wherever he set it from. Okay, yeah, so he came from gate 
three, I'm saying. That was a bit funny there. And what do you do? This, 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 this. <laughs> it's a bit odd, but it tracks your exact path. And um, yeah, if you go into the green one, this is okay. This is Mungo on Twitch. You might know him. This is his fleet because he's in the A320. He's going to Lisbon from Stockholm, and uh, so Lisbon is just down here, I think. Yeah, just down here somewhere. And um, he came all the way from Stockholm. And the reason he's green is because I added him as a friend, and then he added back. So yeah. And um, that's him. He's at minus 26, which is just his cruising basically. And yeah, that's that's basically just the radar just to see who's flying around. So if I'm flying around, I'll be blue, and then it shows me there. Um, community, nothing really new here. It's actually just you know talking to everyone else, announcements, news, error reporting, everything. Support. So if you wanna support a ticket, open tickets, close tickets. Knowledge base. So you're like searching, saying how. Sorry, hang on. How do I add a aircraft? An aircraft. Oh, okay, and it doesn't even come up with it. Okay, well, whatever, doesn't matter. And then yeah, that's basically Project Fly for you. So I use that when um, you know, tracking my flights. So I can close that down now, and then down here, I can get rid of that there. Cool. Next thing I use is VatSpy. You probably all know what this is if you're in Vat, if you're in VatSim. Um, so this is a tracking network as well not doesn't do it's not as good as project fly but literally all you can do is just see who's flying from and, and from and where to so and who's got ATC around so at Lisbon right now um, there has the controller has been on for 57 minutes and his approach departure and there's seven planes on the ground at Lisbon and two currently oh no this one's coming into Lisbon this one's going from Lisbon um, and yeah, this is just this is just that spider showing you all the controllers, who's online, flights, who's online. And that's it, all over the world. Yep. Okay. Well, that's that spider. That's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the one next thing I use is Active Sky, and Active Sky is basically a weather system, a weather control, to um, show me, well, you know, to in implant. <laughs> Should I use that word to import? Import. Um, weather into the sim so if I go to weather control it says that live weather is active you can switch to historical weather so you know if you want to have weather from the 4th of September at whatever time then um, you can set that time then if you want to I always do live weather though um, the map give it a moment um, you can set everything here so get with traffic if I put clouds on this is how cloudy it is right now in the UK as always and um, the airports there just gives you precipitation as well there's no precipitation around and yeah that's that um, conditions so say if I wanted to find out what my departure airport so if I want to buy from Gatwick what the conditions are there and um, then I can just set the um, departure the runways so two six left two six right what else um, gives me my winds and everything so if I go to Almeria again use an example one way you use the 08 there my winds are 15 knots at 90 flight plan so you can press load for the flight plan and as you can see these are all my flight plans so if I do Gatwick to Copenhagen that's my flight plan for that so I should if I go to map there we go it shows my flight plan here and then it will give me all the weather on the way but you know that's not really important uh, briefing it gives me all the weather from the flight plan and what's going on um, at what waypoints which is cool scenarios if you're new to it sorry there's a really loud thing outside my house if you could hear that um, if you want to go to scenarios you can do gusting wings uh, winds microburst encounter weight turbulence you know all that stuff which is cool and then again search so if you want to see around the world where's got what then if you want to see snow there you go mostly Canada precipitation heavy Okay, moderate, light. Okay, visibility that, clouds that, wind speed that, that. Okay, well, there's nothing there now. But yeah, if you wanted to, if you wanted to know where everything is, that's that. Um, so that's Active Sky. Uh, I also, where is it? V Pilot. This is the last thing I have to show you. Um, so V Pilot is basically how you connect to that sim. So if I go to connect and then I've got, I put in my call sign and my type code. Um, they will then connect me to the network and show me as a EasyJet A319. I can also go to flight plan 
and I can load the flight plan in. So say if I was going to uh, okay, let's say Edinburgh. Um, I can set this is my flight plan to Edinburgh. So Gatwick to Edinburgh, Manchester was it alternate airport departure time, time en route, fuel available, cruise speed, cruise altitude. Um, the route is that uh, the Lamb two X way departure, the EDN three Alpha arrival. Gives all my remarks there. Send and receive. Receive only your text only. You can do that. Uh, you can fetch something from the server. Hang on. <laughs> You can't do that. And yeah, that is basically all I use, actually. But there is one more thing, which is FS. Okay, I can't open it. Okay, doesn't matter. <laughs> I usually use FS real time as well, but um, it's broken for some reason. So yeah. Anyway, that is all I use. So I hope this helped you. And you can download everything in the description. What I can do, I'll set um, what I use in the description so you can download them and everything and use them when you fly, I guess. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you next week or two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six months, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever uh, my next upload is, I can't predict the future. But um, yeah, okay. See you all later and have a lovely day, morning, evening, uh, whatever you are.